Okay, my fellow Mac users, today I'm going to show you how to podcast using GarageBand. It's really not that difficult. Obviously, you have to have GarageBand, which I do. Open it up, and once you have that open, well, you're going to have to make sure that you enter in uh, your mic input. If this is the first time you've ever used GarageBand, or if this is the first time you have used a mic with GarageBand, you're going to have to actually set it up in your preferences. No problem. We're going to go up to Preferences here. We're going to hit GarageBand, Preferences. And a little box will pop up that looks like this. All right. Um, we want to click on Audio MIDI. And mine is already set up, but yours will, right here, here's the important thing, audio input. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want, usually probably will be built-in audio. Hopefully, it sees your microphone, it sees mine, and I will choose my mic. Well, mine's already chose, but I'm going to show you what happens when you do choose it for the first time. When you do choose it for the first time, you're going to get a little box that pops up. Change audio driver. Do you really want to change the audio driver? Well, yes, you do. You want to change it for your microphone. I am going to click no because my microphone is already set up. Okay, so there's my microphone. Export. You might also want to give it uh, an iTunes playlist name, a composer name, and an album name. That's just easier to find. And that's all you need to know for this box. So we're going to close this. Okay, now in GarageBand, you have to set up a new track for um, your voice. No problem. All we got to do is go up to the top, track, new track. All right. And you're going to have two options real instruments or software instruments in your new track box. Well, your voice is real, so we're going to stick with real instruments and we're going to use vocals. And I'm going to pick no effects. Feel free to mess around with these, but I'm going to stick with no effects, okay? And click OK. If everything uh, worked out just like it worked out with mine, you should see the no tracks, uh, no effects track, and you should see my voice with the little meters being recorded. That's a pretty good level. I might turn it up just a little bit because my face is really close to the mic, so now I can sit back and relax just a little bit more. Okay, at this point, you're good to go. You got to start recording. That's right down here, the record button. So you click the record button and give it a second there and there we go it is recording exactly what I'm saying hello testing one two three here we go you can actually see the waveform being produced as we I am talking okay and you just keep doing this until you're done and when you're done you come right back down to the record button and click it again now if all went okay and actually mine's still playing so I'm just gonna hit stop right here and if I went OK I'm going to click the home key that is the home key on the keyboard it'll take you right to the beginning of your clip and you can either hit the space bar or the play button and hit stop that I don't like. Um, I don't like all of it. Okay. Now let's say I don't like the sound of my voice. Well, who likes the sound of their voice? But let's just say I don't like a certain section of it that I want to get rid of. All right, well, I'm going to listen to... Okay, uh, let's say I don't like that right there. I'm going to click this, and I can either shorten it up, but let's say I want to use, I can shorten it up by clicking and dragging this. Come on, shorten up now. It's going to make a liar out of me. There we go. Clicking and dragging this, shorten it up. Or, but let's say I want to just cut out a little section. Uh, no problem. We're going to go to edit, split, it's also command T, and look at that. Now we have two tracks here. Just click off to dis uh, deselect one, and there we go. And I could just get to the edge here, shorten it up, bring it back, it'll snap, and there we go. That's not the best sounding edit, but it works for this um, example. Okay, now let's say we're totally done and we want to. Get re uh, export this. Um, what I did right there is I clicked the no effects track and it selects everything. See, um, if I click off of it, see how it's a lighter purple. If I click back on it, 
it'll select everything. And then what we want to do is we want to export to iTunes. Okay, so you would export to iTunes. It's creating a mix down right now, quick and easy. And once it gets finished with that, as long as it doesn't freeze. And iTunes will pop up once it gets finished exporting the track. And um, here it is. This is what I named it, Colin's Voice. And there's the artist, me. And so it's in my iTunes. Well, that's great. What if you want to put it on a disc? Or what if you want to put it on your website? Or what if you want to put it somewhere else? No problem. We have to find it. Um, one of the easiest ways to find it is uh, you have to find your iTunes folder. Well, you go to your main hard drive. And we want to find our iTunes folder. Well, for me, it's... This is Tom Antion's computer, so I'm going to use his computer here. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on your you, you are the user. If you're using your computer, you want to click on that. You can also do music. Okay. You want to click on music that we're here on the left. And iTunes. And iTunes music. And there I am. I'm the artist, formerly known as me. And here is my file right here. AIF file. You can click and drag this anywhere on your computer. There you go. So that's a quick and easy way to making um, a podcast in GarageBand um, and iTunes. But hold on a second. A lot of people are going to say, wait a minute, I want an MP3. That was an AIF file. No problem. In iTunes, click on your track. In iTunes, you click on your track. And then I can't remember. Okay, now a couple of people are going to say, wait a minute, that was an AIF file. You're correct. It's a little bit better quality. But I want an MP3. No problem. In iTunes, you select your track. Here it is. There I am. Right click, create MP3 version. And. Um, it's converting it right now. So then you have an MP3 version. And do you remember where it is? We'll do it again just in case. There we go. It's done. Go over to our hard drive here again. Click on music. Click on iTunes. Click on iTunes. iTunes music. Mark. Mark. And there is my MP3. There you go. Okay. It's a nice small file.